is coming back to the airport from a flight with a student and as we're approaching the airport off to our left to the west we see this big storm cloud approaching and as we're working our way back into the airport it just starts to look really mean and menacing like this big big thunderstorm it's starting to block out everything behind it it's really dark the sky is changing so we book it into high gear we're like holy cow we got to get back to the airport and at this point we're pretty close to the airport like we were going fast we're pretty close and the storm is moving just as fast as we are or even faster as we're coming in i'm handed off from the approach controller to the tower controller the tower controller gives me my landing clearance they say hey helicopter blah 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 you are clear to land as we're moving in and the storm is moving with us these lightning strikes these big beautiful bright vivid lightning strikes are happening faster we're starting to hear the thunder they're very clear they're very vivid and I remember as I'm looking around we're the tallest thing there and even in a helicopter you fly pretty low and at some point you just have to say I can't do this so I told that tower controller hey I'm putting it down on the ground we're gonna let this storm go through and then I'll call you when we're safe so we put it down in a field the storm ended up passing but it brought me to the question and I wanted to know what would happen if you were in a helicopter and it got struck by lightning that's like autopilot dude How do you fly a helicopter? Well, I'm gonna show you. So let's spend a minute talking about thunderstorms. Thunderstorms build in really warm climates. So according to like the FAA and the government weather office, you typically need like temperatures above 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 12 degrees Celsius for a thunderstorm to form. So that happens in the summer months in mainland America, but also when it's consistently warm. So like the Pacific and the tropics, those are consistently warm climates. So they get thunderstorms pretty commonly. For a thunderstorm to form, you need three ingredients. Those three ingredients are water, water vapor, unstable air, and a lifting mechanism. So if there is an area and it's got all three of these requirements and it eventually does form a thunderstorm, it will produce lightning by definition. And the way lightning is made is actually extremely interesting. So inside this thunderstorm, it's a very turbulent, crazy environment. The two biggest things that you have going on is you have large updrafts and large downdrafts. So the purpose of the updrafts or what the updrafts are doing is they are taking water particles, small little water droplets and they are bringing them up through the storm up into the freezing levels so those water droplets those liquid water droplets are freezing as they go up the downdrafts are doing just the opposite so they're taking frozen water particles and coming down so now we've got these like two big currents of air and obviously these up and down drafts and the water particles and ice particles are hitting each other and when they hit each other there's small electrons that shear off so those small electrons break off so essentially what has happened is you've created a large battery on the bottom of the cloud it is negatively charged on the top of the cloud it is positively charged legitimately it works just like a battery so now you've got this battery operating through the sky and what does it want to do well it wants to release that electricity and it does that through the form of a lightning strike now, this lightning strike can be a couple different things it can be cloud to cloud or it can be cloud to ground or in our situation it could be cloud to helicopter and so just like airplanes helicopters flying through the air they create a static charge and for for some reason if there is a helicopter that is close enough to a large thunderstorm that has a positive top and a negative bottom that storm is going to release its electricity and it could strike a helicopter so let's talk about what would happen i've never had this happen to me luckily so this is just my understanding of what would typically happen honestly anything can happen in a lightning strike but this is my understanding when that lightning strike happens it'll typically strike the helicopter in one of two places the first and most obvious place is the main rotor so either on the blaze or the main rotor hub that is a big metal surface for the lightning strike to attach to the second most common place for a lightning strike to hit a helicopter is the tail rotor it is a big metal surface smaller than the main rotor but it would make sense for the main rotor and the tail rotor to be struck once the helicopter is struck by lightning that electricity always wants to take the path of least resistance it wants to get through the helicopter and out it would hit the main rotor system travel down alongside the body of it through the steel and out the steel around the body of the helicopter would kind of act like a Faraday cage and it would protect the occupants. 
So I believe in most cases the occupants would be okay. The helicopter would be damaged and you'd have problems that we'll talk about, but I think the occupants would be okay. You know, this happens very commonly in airplanes and jetliners like commercial airplanes. They get struck by lightning multiple times a day and it's not really a big deal. It makes a lot of sense in those cases. I'll throw a picture up of a Faraday cage right now, but basically what happens is there is a large steel cage that protects everything on the inside as the electricity remains outside and it is protected by that cage it does not go through it it acts as an orbit around it so this makes sense in the airplanes you know you've got occupants on the inside and that lightning just wants to travel through the fuselage of the airplane and out there's no reason for it to go inside there's a lot of non-conductive materials like plastics and rubbers that's how lightning would move through an aircraft let's talk a bit more about the specifics of what would happen depending on where the strike happens and what the strike would cause so I generally do believe that a lightning strike would hit the main rotor system if it hit a blade let's talk about if it hit a big metal main rotor blade there's a lot of electricity and energy and heat going through that blade so what it could do is it could puncture a hole in your blade now I don't think it would have enough to like separate the blade cause a blade to break off but you could get a pretty nice puncture hole which is obviously a problem I think the helicopter could probably go on and continue to fly and I, I really don't think it would fall off but that is a major emergency and if you're struck if you're struck by lightning you're pretty much getting down to the ground as quickly as possible real emergency situation almost life or death it's also an emergency if it hits the tail rotor and for some reason causes the tail rotor to be inoperative that situation is less of an emergency because you can still continue to fly the helicopter and then slide it onto the ground but it's still not ideal obviously that amount of electricity is going to present problems for all the electrical components within the aircraft so your gps your instruments your radios your lights maybe even your phones those things may all stop working is that really a big deal not necessarily the biggest problem with that is if the electrical system doesn't work and you no longer have indications like a tachometer like your rotor and your engine parameters but honestly the helicopter will most likely continue to fly and if you don't have your electronic equipment it's not that big of a deal another interesting theory that potentially could happen and i'm not sure if this has ever happened but it is a theory if the lightning strike hits the helicopter and it hits somewhere near the fuel tank could it potentially cause those fuel tank vapors to ignite and cause an explosion. Hypothetically, yes, I think that's pretty rare, but that is an interesting situation and something that you'd have to think about. Like if you get struck by lightning and your fuel tank explodes, that's not a great day. So this is the final thing we'll talk about. And this is probably the most interesting and the most problematic and the most likely thing to happen. If a helicopter is struck by lightning, that could create a hazard. A lightning strike close by could blind the pilot or cause the pilot to become incapacitated. I think the helicopter is probably gonna be fine. The helicopter is built pretty strong but for some reason if the pilot becomes incapacitated like what if it's just like a really bright light the pilot can't see outside he can't see his instruments you can try to hold straight and level but you're really not going to be able to and that could cause the helicopter to get into a dangerous situation or for some reason if it's like really loud if the entire situation like a lightning strike becomes really loud and bright for a moment that could be very disorienting and put the pilot and the aircraft in an unusual attitude or god forbid if for some reason the electricity did not go through the helicopter and it did go into the the pilot and the pilot was struck by lightning obviously that would be a pretty bad situation the pilot would be unconscious and the aircraft would most likely crash but I think that is pretty unlikely all right there you go that is what would happen if a helicopter was struck by lightning let me know what you think down below what would happen I want to hear your thoughts if you've if you have any more information let me know down in the comments below and I will see you guys on the next one take care